And so what if they laugh at me, Lord? At least I admit I was wrong. Oh, all in the open, the secrets out. For most people, again, words like again, another, um, positive, you think are just every day, just normal words. Well, for me, words like again, or another, or positive, or wedding, or husband, um, a lot of times, to be honest with you, kind of put a little pain in my stomach or make me feel a little nervous just because of um, my testimony. I am a product of a divorce and um, during this time, um, so much was going on in my life and I really just didn't think that I was ever gonna be able to come out of it at all. Um, but February of 2010, which was at the beginning of my separation, the Lord brought me to Blueprint, and um, and when I did, um, I realized at that point, and was very sure from the Spirit that this was a place that I was going to be renewed. This is a place that my my mind would be renewed, my heart would be renewed, and my my view of fellowship would be renewed. God saw saw me to the end of that separation, which ultimately landed to a, into a divorce, and um, being in a young church and you know, looking around, and I was uh, 25 at the time. Um, it was really hard for me to find somebody who, who knew my story or could speak to it or speak into it very directly. So I spent a lot of nights praying and crying and just seeking out and um, asking the Lord for help. And every time I would do that, he would say, push more into the family of God, push more into them. It was such a difficult time for me because I just wanted to be by myself. And then, all of a sudden, something happened that I never ever thought would happen again. I always thought that once you make a mistake, that's it, and you don't get another chance. Or even though I know the truth of the gospel, I know what grace is all about. It was it was definitely difficult for me to accept it for this aspect of my life. But um, God brought my future husband Andrew into my life, and I say that again, and my heart's churning just a little bit. He is my husband. He will be the man I'm supposed to be with for the rest of my life in covenant. Um, I am getting married again. Um, it's hard to say, but I am. I can say that even with the nuptials coming and the joy that surrounds it, and so many people are like, man, this is such a story of redemption. I'm like, yeah, dog, like this is crazy because I thought it was gonna be over for me. It's gonna be finished. But here comes the Lord coming in and just like washing all that tainted feeling away um, and giving me another chance. But I will say, um, honestly to you guys, that um, I know you see me jumping around and worshiping and smiling and talking and texting during church, because I do. And um, the truth is that a lot of times, most days, I am fighting this crazy fear that somehow I'm gonna allow my past to shape my future and I'm gonna eventually see my ex-husband and the man that God is calling me to marry. Um, and that's a very scary thing for me um, because I know that it's not true. I know that um, that the Lord will see me through and that he who began a good work will be faithful to complete it until the day of Christ. But the reality is like, this is not utopia and I need you to pray for me. I'd rather be a burning than cool a miss of you, Lord. And cool a miss of you, Lord. The cool a miss of you. So give me one more chance.